Sikh Babu Gao, thank you so much for for your, for your valuable time. Thank you. And New Science Hub really appreciates your time spending with us. Bioasia is now coming to a close now. And what is the takeaway from in terms of Kelangana, like in terms of uh, let's say cutting edge technology in life science and healthcare? Uh, the takeaway is uh, nothing but uh, first of all uh, the ecosystem which has been built over the past three four decades has now been paying off. If you can see back and see from 1991 when globalization and economic liberalization has taken place, the composite Andhra Pradesh state was also an early leader. Correct. To take uh, the benefits out of this two important economic reforms which has been bought by the Congress government. So over a period of time, you know, hailing from South India, and we have a huge talent pool from our side. Absolutely. That is also a greatest advantage we had. And we have very, you know, very, very progressive uh, leaders earlier who have taken the government key initiatives and imperatives into action. When we were in power, these things we have put into ground. And later, you know, other parties, government have come into power. They carried it. Later, we had come and we have been there from 2004 to 2014. Uh, we have carried it more further as the time demanded for the past decade because the competition was high and everybody has to uh, take a pace in that. So all the states were in a competition. In the process it has grown a few folds. Big. Now our government has come, we will take it to ten folds. Sure. So all these things, you know, what I want to say is uh, in that sphere too, the life sciences played an important role too and uh, many pharma companies have come into existence and uh, basically the grey matter is here so they have turned into in, uh, entrepreneurs and now they are the biggest entrepreneurs and Correct. they export their vaccine, they export their medicine to different parts of the world through Telangana they are known everywhere through them Telangana is also known no, okay. so vis a -vis, we all develop Telangana Super. So that's the real reason, you know, for it's not been there only for the past decade, the Bioisha conference. Bioisha conference has been there for the past 20 years, this is the 21st edition. 21st. Few people may be thinking like, you know, few years back or 10 years back, 10 years, be, in these 10 years, this sort of conference has come. But no, it's been there, this is our vision, the vision has been translating into action and now we can see the Bioisha where 500 plus Fortune 500 company CEOs and the chairmen and the founders are here. And Nobel laureate was here yesterday. And 2000 participants have enrolled to participate in this bio Asia. That is clearly, you know, reflects our ecosystem. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we are very proud of it. And if you see World Economic Forum, you know, Center for Industrial Revolution, first ever center, they are positioned here. This is a pride moment of us. So, going by what you are saying, can we expect uh, another Boston or San Francisco, like they are considered to be a bio hub? Will Hyderabad also turn into a bio hub yep, in the next future? Yep. We have we have vision to make it as a bio hub. If you see back, you know, we cater to the 40 percent of the Indian population demanded drugs here, produced here. 40 percent of the pharma products which are being consumed. In totality, 100% of the people consume, 40% are manufactured here. And I am proud to say that, you know, uh, the COVID vaccine, out of five production centers of COVID vaccine, four are from Hyderabad. Millions of doses of COVID vaccine has been sent all over the world from this Hyderabad. That's how we started our innings and, uh, you know, one third, as you rightly put said, one third of vaccine is being produced from Genome Hyderabad, Valley. Genome Valley. that is Genome Valley. One plus and now we are in the process of expanding it to 300 acres more. Yeah, I just heard. Yeah. So, this is a phenomenal success. Very good. So, the next uh, big buzz is AI. So, where are we 
in terms of trying to kick AI into our fold? Because central government says India is going to be a hub of AI. No. Yes, good. Uh, anything India can take pride. We are the part and parcel of India. In Telangana as such, uh, we have already told our vision. In the process of our vision recently in the budget, uh, our government has focused of putting AI city in 200 acres of uh, in Hyderabad. Just imagine this would be the first AI city in Hyderabad. So, we would like to invite all global players who are into AI, into research and their product, their services in terms of AI will be from global demands of AI will be met from Hyderabad. That is our vision. Brilliant. Okay. So, Brilliant. we will make it the capital of uh, AI tomorrow. We would like to and we would see ourselves. That may be, you know, some may be thinking that it's a, it's a big dream, but we are dreaming for it. Very good. So, talking of AI, obviously IT comes into the picture. The ecosystem of Bangalore vis-a-vis -vis Hyderabad, people say Bangalore ecosystem is much better for startups. Are we government of Kalingan doing anything to just match up or catch up with uh, Bangalore? No, actually, you know, we appreciate their efforts. It's also a state. Sure. And we take every positive affirmation of those state and try to put it into our action too. But going back, going back to Bangalore and Karnataka, lot many industries are moving from there. Lot many IT companies are moving from there. Because so many issues they are confronting from there. So, Hyderabad is the ideal place. And for, you know, the incubator uh, here, the centers here, they have ample opportunity. And the, there's lots of scope for innovation. And our innovation policy is also very progressive and encouraging. And we have T-Hub, we have V-Hub. And we have, uh, you know, in University of Hyderabad, we have Life Sciences uh, Hub. So, these are all things where we are really concentrating on an unlike and unlike specific uh, uh, issues or not being addressed there in Bangalore because overcrowdedness, the mobility problem, the traffic issues, the okay. only issues okay. comes into creep where to the entrepreneur. So, we are almost equivalent to the you know, Bangalore ecosystem. We are much more right now and we will try to have a competition with those people in a very right and uh, very positive mood. In times to come, we are also thinking of having, you know, Hyderabad, Karnataka industrial corridor oh, or I mean to say IT corridor where the good examples of Karnataka a good examples of Telangana can be matched and you know we can pose this is our Indian commune so all the big companies will come and settle here there is nothing very wrong in it. Good, very nice. So AI and once you talk of AI of course blockchain technology comes and we have Galmi and all in place where are we on terms of blockchain are we catching up with uh, you know, um, we are specially concentrating on AI data analytics cyber security Right now, our focus is on three sectors and uh, we would be going, you know, anyway, cloud computing and everything over right. there, quantum mechanics. So, these are all our core areas. You know, blockchain is continuously emerging. There are few hiccups in that. Okay. Uh, many global players have entered into it. They backtracked out of it. So, now the emerging field is the disruptive technologies and AI. And all these things, we would like to be, we, we would like to focus. Superb. So today is a National Science Day. You have any message to the young scientists of this cake and all over India? So we would like to congratulate uh, young scientists and all the scientists who have brought laurels to this country and who have brought innovations and who have done great for the growth and enhancement of a human life and brought science to the doorsteps of a common man. So, we really appreciate their efforts and on this day, it is a day to remember them, all the scientists and 
all the policy makers who were instrumental in making many policies to enhance the science and to bring science to the common man so we really appreciate their efforts and congratulations to them on this national thank science you. day thank you very much brilliant sir on behalf of new science hub thank you so much thank for your valuable much. time thank, thank you, you.